Yeah. It's 20 to 6. Travis is not here, so that means that he's out running. I just hope that he's already started out at my place because that means if he isn't, he's still working down at his place. And I don't know how many acres are left down there if that's the case. So, right now it's my place now. Last field, here we go. Let's get started. I think Travis is here. There's a light down there shining through the trees. As long as it's not a lazy yellow moon. Shouldn't be considering the moon's way up there. So I, I think that's him. But once we get over on the other side of this strip, we'll see. a drone while using auto steer not everybody can do that that's something I can do looks like uh, drone got a little too close to the tire on the 82 smacked it didn't run it over pretty much all it left me with was a broken prop but I think I got one or two of those laying around somewhere are you guys seeing this huh huh We just finished tillage for the year 2020. I have to admit that having a second chisel plow here was fan-freaking-tastic. Man, we were really able to knock that out quick. The coon has performed awesome. Didn't have any issues with it at all. Um, 
as far as the performance of it goes, I think it goes without saying that it does a lot better than our chisel plow. Uh, granted that we bought what we were able to at the time that we bought our chisel plow. So uh, the star wheels on the back really help do smooth things out. Uh, I think if I had a choice, I would have preferred like a basket. However, um, the star wheels are just what this unit had on it. It was pretty much all they had uh, to send down. And I mean, I'm not really complaining. It, the star wheels still, still did a really good job. Overall, I'm satisfied with the performance of this unit. It ran great. I really liked the job that it did. It really cuts up the residue. Don't have to deal with plugging like we do with that thing. And uh, overall, I'm happy with it. So thanks again to Kuhn for sending this thing down. This was a huge help uh, getting all of our chisel plowing done in the fall. That way we can focus on just hitting everything with, for the, with the VT for seedbed prep. So uh, to my knowledge, this is the first time that, I, well, this is the first time I've seen us use two chisel plows. Um, back in the day, I mean, we might've been running more than one. Grandpa might've been running more than one, but I never saw it. So overall, I'm happy. Now we just gotta wait and see what the damage is tomorrow morning. Easy. There you go. Hmm. I never liked that side anyway. Jason just showed up and took the Kuhn Krauss Landsaver 4810 with him. Overall, the unit performed fantastic. I uh, was really satisfied with how it ran out in the field, the performance of how it ripped up everything. And you could really tell when you hit one of those compacted areas because it would just pull the tractor right down, which is great because that's what we we're trying to do. We we're trying to rip up that compaction. So um, it was really nice having two chisel plows here. Even Travis said how nice it was because when ours broke down, we could keep going with the land saver and we got all of our tillage done in the fall, which hasn't happened in, I don't even know how long, how many years it's been since we've got all of our chisel plowing done. Um, which is great because all we're gonna have to do now is come in in the spring and go through with the VT and just do one seed bed prep pass and we're good to go. So that'll allow us to be ready faster in the spring. I can focus on getting the corn hauled out because I'm going to be hauling in March and April um, to get all the corn gone from this last year that's in the bin. So with that, I want to thank Kuhn for sending the land saver down. It worked great. And uh, I just want to say how thankful I am because it really helped get tillage done faster. Um, you know, in the long run, doing these demos like this, it doesn't really help us all that much financially, but it does help us get done faster so that we can spend more time with friends and family, which to me is probably one of the most important things because that's what's important in life, to me anyway. So with that, I just wanna say thanks again to Kuhn. Thank you all for watching uh, throughout harvest and tillage. I'm looking forward to getting back out there in the spring. Uh, be sure to stay tuned and follow along with all our winter projects that we got going on. And uh, thankfully the snow melted. We got quite a bit of snow there, but it melt, melted all the way. It got warm for a few days, and now it's back to being cold again. So that was probably summer's last oorah. And um, from here on out, it's probably gonna be cold because that's Wisconsin for you. So thanks again, guys. I'll see you next time. And don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. And the good news is I'm currently prospecting songs for our next rewind video. Um, I don't have a announcement date for that yet. I just started working on a few different songs. Um, I started placing some clips onto some songs to try to figure out where I wanna go um, for our next one. So that's coming down the pipeline eventually, probably sometime next year. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. And with that, I'll see you next time.